I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some good questions to prepare you for the test. Unit 5 Rational Functions. Question here is, is it possible for the graph of a rational function to cross horizontal asymptote line? Explain and provide reason to support your answer. Well, as you know, horizontal asymptote is behavior of the graph when x approaches positive infinity or when x approaches negative infinity. If it at that time, if y approaches a value l, for example, in that case, we have a horizontal asymptote whose equation is y equals to l. Remember, definition of horizontal asymptote says what happens to the graph of the function as the function is approaching positive or negative infinity and behavior. But it's not saying anything about what happens in between. So in between you can always cross y equals to l, the horizontal asymptote line. So our answer is that yes, it is possible. For the graph of a function to cross horizontal asymptote, right? Now let's provide an example. Consider the function f of x equals 2. If I have a numerator degree less than denominator, in that case we have x axis as horizontal asymptote, right? So let's take uh, example as example as x square plus 1 for example and uh, numerator as x. So if I have numerator as x then what is the value of f of 0? f of 0 will be 0 over 0 plus 1 which is 0. That means there is an x intercept. This means that there is x intercept at origin. Is it okay? This is what it means, right? There is x intercept at origin. Now, what is the equation of horizontal asymptote for this function? This gives you horizontal asymptote at y equals to 0. Now, the origin is on the line y equals to 0. That means the function crosses this, right? Now, if you graph this function, you as an exercise, what you can do is, you can actually graph this function, right? So, so what we observe here is that if x is very large, then denominator is very large. So the function approaches, the graph of the function approaches 0. Now, if x is a very large negative value, denominator is always positive, you are approaching from the negative side. But if x is a very large positive value, you are approaching from the positive side. Do you see that? Now, the x-intercept here is 0. So this graph, if you plot, take some values and then you'll find, if I write 1 here, f of 1 will be 1 over 2, which is positive half, right? So at 1, you have positive half. But if I write minus 1 here, in that case, I get negative half. So the graph is kind of like this. We are not doing exact graph here, but it is kind of like this. So you can take some more values and figure it out. But that's a very interesting graph and a good example to show that the graph of a function, in this case f of x, can really cross the horizontal asymptote. Right? So I hope that helps to understand the concept. And the reason is that horizontal asymptote is defined at the ends. And that means infinity or minus infinity. In between, the graph could go either way. I hope that helps to understand the concept. Thank you and all the best.